down a truck stop She looked about as wild as the story she told Said she was a Christian saving souls in Savannah And the Lord was sending her to Alabama She got a old man, but I shouldn't be worried Though it seemed like she was in a hurry Higher than a junkie, drying out in the slammer Lord, I hope I don't die in Alabama Well, all right, guys. It's always an awesome day when I'm able to add another upper to the collection. What I have today is a Uinta Precision Bolt Action AR-15 upper. This is their UPR-15. So last year, almost to the day, is when I got my UPR-10 in 6.5 Creedmoor. This is an AR-10, and this is an AR-15. If you ever have a problem distinguishing the two, or if you don't know what the difference is, um, the AR-15 is built for the 223 cartridge, which is a mini action cartridge, and then the AR-10 is built for the larger cartridges, like 308, 65 Creedmoor, 243, 260 Remington, things like that. So the Magwell is going to be what gives it away. This is an AR-10 magazine. This is an AR-15 magazine. You can see what the length difference is there. AR-15, AR-10. So this is an AR-15 upper. This is an AR-15 upper. So I'm going to use my same lower for both uppers. Um, what's what this one is this is a 224 valkyrie um if you follow my channel then you know that i've been shooting this 224 valkyrie bolt action for a little while now um in the comments i commonly get the comment of 224 valkyrie failed right out of the gate or it's never going to be any good i'm going to go get a 65 grendel instead i honestly think that the valkyrie has boosted sales of the grendel which i think is funny um however I ended up getting a 6.5 Grendel upper, specifically to compare against the 224 Valkyrie. So if you guys have been wanting me to do 6.5 Grendel videos, hey, go compare ballistics on this versus a 6.5 Grendel. Well, I've got both now. So I'm really excited to get this one all geared up. I've got to get it its own scope as well as a muzzle brake. And then I've got a little piece of pick rail up there for a bipod and she'll be ready to rock and roll. Like I say, this one is chambered in 6.5 Grendel. So if you don't know what 6.5 Grendel is, I actually don't even own a cartridge yet. I just got this upper in yesterday. So like I mentioned, the AR-15 was built around the 223. And that's what this cartridge is here. This one's loaded with a 77 grain Sierra Match King. So this is a 224 Valkyrie. As you can see, they have very similar overall lengths. The brass is a little bit shorter to allow for longer bullets in the Valkyrie. Now what the 6.5 Grendel is, is it's very close to the Valkyrie cartridge size. It's short and fat like this. It's actually a little bit fatter. It's got a larger case head than the, so the Valkyrie's case head is larger than a 223 and the Grendel's is larger than a Valkyrie. So it's a short little fat guy. So in the Valkyrie, in the Valkyrie, you shoot 22 caliber projectiles. This is a 95 grain. That's about as big as they come right now. This is a Sierra Match King. And the 6.5 Grendel, you're gonna shoot a 6.5 millimeter bullet, which is on the left. So marginally larger. This one's actually a 140 grain. Um, in the Grendel, typically you run lower grains than that. You run like a 120. Um, when I refer to grains, that's the weight of the bullet. So I'm going to be running a slightly shorter 6.5 millimeter bullet in the Grendel. But again, because I just barely got this upper, I don't even have an example for you guys yet. So I just got this in. I'm really excited to take this out and do some comparison videos for you guys. I myself am interested. I'm curious how the Grendel will stack up against the Valkyrie. So my 6.5 Grendel upper has a threaded barrel with a target crown. This barrel is made by a manufacturer here in Utah called Match Grade Machine. They are down in uh, Hurricane, Utah. 
and it is a 22 inch one to eight twist. So I will be able to stabilize the heavy bullets um, for 6.5 millimeter bullets. I'm really excited to get this thing out. It is a three lug action. Let's take a look at this bolt real quick. So it is a three lug action. I mean, this thing's still got the manufacturer oil on it. I still need to get it cleaned up. I'm gonna just clean the bore like you would on a normal rifle, nothing crazy. And then we'll go out and get it fouled up, see how it likes it. Probably do one cleaning after I get it going, maybe 30 rounds in, give it a deep clean. And then from there on, we'll just uh, foul it up and see how she likes it. So three lug action. You can see your uh, little plunger here, your extractor. This is actually made out of one piece of steel. And then uh, the awesome machinist at Uinta Precision did an excellent job on this. So really cool piece of equipment here. The bolt knobs aluminum, but the rest of it is all uh, chromoly, heat treated. This is good stuff. So I'm curious to see how these two stack up against each other. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go check out and see what the 6.5 Grendel does against the 224 Valkyrie. I'll give you guys updates as I get a scope and muzzle brake for this thing, get it all set up, get it out to the range. I'll probably steal the scope off of the AR-10 for short term to get this thing out on the range as soon as possible. Until that comes, we'll see you guys in the next video. And believe me, we'll have videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.